All right. Tap, tap. <clears throat> Firefox. Boom. Let's look at Anna first. Yes. Fuck, that's loud. That is super loud. Hold on a second. You to pieces, Nina. Nina. Anna Williams. All right, so up front, Nina. Anna Williams. While standing too, she still got that. It still looks like it has a lot of range. Actually, it doesn't look like it has as much range as it used to. But we'll see when we get there. She still has that jumping knee. I believe that's forward three, but. Before forward three two, she would slap downwards after it. It would be a bound move. Now she does a corkscrew out of it, right? Yep, that looks like a one input because it looks like she swung with her left there, right? So it would be forward three one if I were to guess. Right? While standing two, forward three one looks like. Okay, I don't know about that stuff. So her slaps are a homing move now. Probably natural combo, right? Also, one thing I just noticed there is she's one of those uh, roll dashing motherfuckers like Dragonoff and Nina, of course. So the combo ender here, right? She does the, uh, what is it, 4 or 2 or some shit like that. And then she goes to the core circle forward right there. And it looks like core circle forward 2 into a 3, which does a lot of uh, wall carry. So here, slap, slap, which looks kind of slow, actually. And then uh, she goes into her juggle starting low here, down back 3, I guess it is. They don't show, I wish they showed if that still juggled on normal hit, but they don't. They just show it, her doing it as a follow-up like that. So her uh, homing move has a guaranteed follow-up. High, high, if I were to guess it's uh, safe on block because of that. Boom. I wish they didn't rewind so much with the arrows. So she has the, uh, her fucking bootleg-ass can-cans, and she still lands into Chaos Judgment stance, right? Yep, that's Chaos Judgment, where she lands with her knee up in the air. That stance... Just to remind you guys, is I auto crushes lows, she automatically hot kicks lows, and if you try to grab her, she reverses the grab automatically. So you cannot grab her, and you cannot do any lows that aren't like knees or, or uh, shoulders, like in the case of uh, Feng's core circle forward one. Uh, Lay's crane stance actually ignores that rule, and then she has the low, uh, the low high kick. That low high kick she just did out of that stance that used to be natural combo. I'm assuming it still is. Low high natural combo, so essentially the idea is you block the low, duck the high, and then launch her. And that looked like her shoulder out of Chaos Judgment stance, but the fucking weird ass camera angle messed with it. Okay, she still has the jab jab into the low, just like Nina. See? Alright, that right there. That looked like... Hmm. That looked like her full crouch forward too. Her full crouch forward too, but she wasn't in full crouch. Her full crouch forward too, she kind of slaps you overhead. Ogre had that too. Ogre and true ogre. Because the idea of ogre was he had a bunch of moves. Oop. Thanks for the follow. I don't see who it is. Oh, whoever that was, you did not pop up in the alert. Oh, I know why. Okay, the Firefox thing was blocking you. Whoever that was that followed me, thank you for the follow. What's up, Tan man? How's it going? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. The Firefox, uh, the layers in OBS Studio, the Firefox layer was layered over the alert link, so I didn't see who you were. But thank you for the follow anyway. What's up, Mora? How's it going? Let me scroll this up. Cool. All right. So once again, let's recap here. Let's, I'm going to recap just in case now that I got people talking because nobody was talking at first from the beginning here. Right, while standing two, looks like it still has a ton of range. Then she goes into her, what I believe is her forward three, which is that jumping knee right there. Used to be forward three two to bound people. Now it looks like she does forward three one because she swings with her left and that does corkscrew. I'm assuming she'll still have forward three two as an option. As a matter of fact, I think she does it later in this video. And it probably spikes, you know, where you got to hold back to get up and it'll probably floor break. 
She does a standard, like, I don't know if it's like a 4-2. And then she does her quarter circle forward. She's a roll dashing character, like Nina, Dragon Off, Paul. And she does uh, what looks like quarter circle forward 2-4, two, 2-3, two, which does a ton of wall carry. Uh, here she has her slap slap. Uh, she ha I think she had this move before. If not, it's just another variation of her slaps. But it's a homing move. It looks like it's natural combo high high, which means I'm, gu I'm guessing it's going to be safe on block. One thing I noticed is the second slap comes out quite slow. Right? Ugh. When I hit left arrow, it rewinds so much. See? It's like slap and then a real slow second slap. But she does her juggle starting, her old juggle starting low. That as a follow up here. Thanks for the follow, Lizox21. So that low that she did there, they don't show it in this trailer. That is the low you have to watch. Essentially her snake edge. It's not homing, but that is the thing. You must, you must see that low on reaction. You absolutely must. Otherwise, Anna players are going to fucking gimmick the holy shit out of you. I am making it my fucking mission to the moment this fucking character comes out. I want Anna players to be miserable. So I'm going to be giving out all the fucking secrets. I kind of already do that anyway. I always try to give all the secrets. But I'm going to be going the extra mile because I fucking hate Anna players. So <laughs> uh, that low is, is one of those things. You guys better hit up that training and get used to seeing it. The idea of that low is what used to always fuck with me uh, when fighting against Anna because of that low is um, her animation. She gets up on one leg. So her body goes up and then she goes down. So I would literally be playing and then my head would go up and then down as she's doing it. And I would never... I would have so much trouble blocking the reactions. There's something about that animation that really was fucking me. You see how you see how she like. Right. Uh. See, she gets up on one leg. At least her back is to the camera. That's probably the big tell that I gotta watch out for. When she's on this side, her back is to the camera. When she's on one piece side, it won't be. And then she goes, "Pooh!" She sweeps your leg. So that right there is her bootleg ass can cans. Slap, slap, down back three. Right here, she has these can cans, and uh, she can opt. She does a third kick out of them, and you can cancel that third kick to land in what is called chaos judgment stance. That's her stance when her knee is in the air, right here. That's chaos judgment stance. That stance, to remind you, is um, Anna players stole your lunch money when you were a kid. No, but Anna players fucking are a pain in the ass. Like Williams players, Williams players are. Yes, this is a Kevin Owens shirt. Ko, it's one of the older ones. It's actually really big on me. I got this before my weight loss. This is a 5XL shirt. So this is, to, to give you an idea of how big this is, I am 289 pounds right now, and that's, this is still this big on me. Just to give you an idea of how much weight I lost. Anyway, um, this stance auto crushes low. She automatically does a hot kick, unless your low is a knee or a shoulder, like Feng's quarter circle forward one is a shoulder. Um... Lay's crane stance does that too. You know, the fucking karate kid stance, but his actually ignores that rule. What's up, Slayer? This stance also auto reversals grabs. You cannot grab her during this stance. So, assuming it remains the same. Uh, but this stance, she could also cancel it into her roll dash, into her cross dash, of course, and go forward. Well, uh, the stance also has some unique options out of it. The one that this guy is about, whoever's playing, is about to do right here, is a low high, used to be a natural combo, low high string. That, that, that did a lot of damage, but he does it here during the combo, see? And then he goes into the uh, that low high, apparently goes naturally, goes into her crouch dash. Ah, pressing left on the arrow goes so far back. So she goes low high, and it looks like she goes into a crouch dash. And then after the crouch dash, he does her fucking shoulder, really, which is really more like her ass. She has like a shoulder style move. She hits you with her ass. I think it's 14 frames in tag two. All right, so there she has a standard Nina one two into the low, nothing special there, and then she recovers crouching. See, she's crouching. So what she's doing here is one of her mix-up tools. Basically, Nina was no, uh, sorry, Anna was known as a full crouch 50-50 character. There was a couple of characters that have strong mix-ups with full crouch. The classic one, well, the classic one that's still around now is everybody who has a slide, right? Martial Law, Lee Jalan, Shaheen, whatever his last name is. They all have slides, so then the idea is when this character is in full crouch, they have a unique low that's annoying for whatever reason, and they mix that up with whatever mid you could do from crouching, whether it's a hot kick from crouching or just a wild standing out from crouching. Anna had way too fucking many. For, first of all, Anna had a full crouch low swipe, which I think was full crouch down forward too, that started juggles on normal hit. Bullshit, right? And it was very fast, unseeable. 
and then she had like three jungle starting mid options, just just from full crouch, like while standing two, full crouch forward one, and full crouch forward two or whatever, something like that. Uh, full crouch forward two actually is not a jungle starting option. It's the one that I think she's doing here. She just kind of slaps downwards, and it's the move that uh, Ogre and True Ogre both had, including in Tag Team. And it always gave her free follow. So the idea was, all right, if you wanted to get a nice chunk of damage but not be launch punishable, you could do this fucking slap move, which is what she does here, which now appears to be her armor move. See? She's all uh, slaps downward. Boom. And it always gave her just a free follow-up. So that looked like a sidestep three. I don't know. I don't know what the input for that move is. All right. So she has a standard down forward one. Oh, there it is. There it is fucking is oh the cross his highs as an extra middle finger to you oh hold on oh man this is gross look at this look at this oh. wait this is pause right okay oh, uh, 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 no 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 oh Oh, eat shit. Yeah. Oh, eat this fucking juggle off of a low. There's her shoulder, her her ass or whatever. Her shoulder style move. It was a bullshit joke they did afterwards. I'm guessing is... Uh, my guess is since they still uh, allow it to start a juggle on normal hit because it clearly crushed her standing four. So I don't think it was a counter hit. Um, the juggle off of it is probably going to be weak. Similar to double gin. Is that a stream that goes into the fucking ass? <laughs> Whatever. Well, there's the ass again. All right, and then she goes to full crouch. That's a wall standing three, two. So wall standing three, two is one of her um, core screws. So this string that she follows up with, this is actually a classic Nina combo, uh, sorry, Anna combo. She would whiff the high on purpose and then hit you with the follows for more damage. But that high, it's this string, see that high and the kick and then the knee, the double knee, that's in uh, tag two, is a counter hit juggle starter. The whole thing connects as a nat as a counter hit combo. And you cannot block it. The first hit counter hits, the whole thing connects, and she gets a juggle out of it. I we don't know yet if it's still going to be the same, but that was also a way that she used to use it in the juggles, just like that. She would whiff the, the high. I don't remember the input for it, but she would whiff the high and go into the string and then pick you up. Her flip does a backflip, so that makes me think that if she hits you grounded, it's going to do a backflip also. Just a hunch. Usually a move that does that will hit grounded. So that's actually, I think, uh, historically one of her launches too. A very unsafe one. Come over here. Let me talk to your real I don't know if that's a new... That might be a new move. That doesn't look... It looks like Nina's... Uh, I don't know if it's down two or down one. Nina has like a low punch into a high kick. That I think is a counter hit string. Uh, that just might be her own variation of that. It doesn't look familiar. I'm surprised they don't show Core Circle Forward 1. That's like a trademark and a move. Nina's Core Circle Forward 1 got rebalanced to be uh, essentially the same thing. And this Core Circle 1 was like this elbow that moves her forward. Nina's Core Circle Forward has always been that upward slap. But they changed the properties. They sped it up and they made it a counter hit launcher that's plus on block. Just like Anna's uh, has always been. So that recovers crouching, and she goes for the fucking stab. This is the forward one from crouching. One of her former juggle starting options from crouching. Now it does this. Boom. So it has the new wall bounce mechanic. That used to, uh, just like Nina's back one or back two, whatever, where she would stick her hand out, it would like uh, make people crumple stun on normal hair. She would get a juggle out of it, but it was launch punishable. And she does the wall carry. And that's her wall combo. They both do their version of the blonde bomb. So, hmm. I don't know what move this is, but I mean, it's clearly her um, rage drive, but the move itself doesn't look familiar to me. I don't know if that's just a completely new move and then they made a rage drive. She still has that weird ass kick, though, that really shitty looking. Her animations are like really bad to me. That weird ass jump kick that she does that floats people. See, <laughs> she can still juggle after it. Oh, that's a new move, that core screw. And then run up, blonde bomb. And then uh, her rage, uh, her rage art. Her rage art actually is uh, cool looking. It is a high though, so it's probably gonna be one of those safe on block fast ones. So it might be a real good block punisher for her. Similar to like Jin and uh, Steve. 
All right. All right, so that's about all I know. And, oh, yeah. Nina could still do this right here. Uh, there's a move that Nina has that, they, that she, they, they, carried over from, they carried it over from Anna because she wasn't in the game at first, where she does like a slap, and then the opponent, no matter which character they are, actually, may, it might only be female characters, I'm not sure. They input something... And then they could slap back, and you could get it. You could get basically get into a slap fight. It's like an Easter egg. Similar to Heihachi, he has a variation on his headbutt grab, where you could the opponent could press something. I forget what the input is, and then they'll go into like a headbutt exchange back and forth. It's just a dumb Easter egg that's in the game. Similar to how like Brian laughs when he gets uh, caught in the bear grab, where they roll him into a ball and throw him in the air. Brian actually laughs, or he goes yeehaw, some shit. Yeah, so that's Anna. Now we got the complicated one. This is going to be hard to process, guys. <laughs> Any questions that I missed, by the way? Uh, slap, slap. And a player stole your lunch money. <laughs> yes, she certainly did. JNL can move the video forward and back by small. Ah, good looking out. I wish I read that earlier. Thank you, Sub Zero. You call that her hip. <laughs> that ass. That low looks like has a similar speed to Claudio's down back three. You are right, except Claudio's down back three is a counter hit launcher. You're right, Milo. It's bullshit, right? Claudio's down back three is basically the same animation. It's fucked up. Link players can't duck those problems. <laughs> uh, like one, four, one, two, four, three with Kazuya. Uh, as with in combo extension. <laughs> I thought that RPG was goddamn battering ram at first. <laughs> All right, so let's see. You said J. You said J and L, right? Oh, dude, those are ten second increments. The increments are even longer. They're ten seconds. Nah. Hmm. Why is it four eighty? Seven twenty pizzle, man. No problem. Don't worry about it. Lay oolong. <sighs> So he's supposed to look like a guy from another um, Asian cop movie. Not like Jackie Chan. So he's one of those... F he's one of those fuckers with a safe on block down forward too. One of those uh, like Law and Paul that doesn't launch you uh, crouching unless it's counter hit. So it's probably going to be the same here. That's an old string. That, uh, I forget the input, but the kick into the high, it goes into, uh, was it Tiger Stance? Yes. So, when I was going through this stance in Tag 2, like, a couple weeks ago, one thing I forgot to mention is this stance auto-parries. I forgot the rules on what it auto-parries, and I don't, I don't think he gets anything for free. I think he just gets frame advantage. But when he has his hands up like this, like he's got a wall, and then he steps forward and he goes like this constantly. Uh, I'm not even sure if he needs to step forward, to be honest with you. I believe it's punches, higher mid punches. He auto parries them in that stance. That that is uh, tiger tiger stance. I think that's a new string, and that's for corkscrew. And then the trademark. This is the move right here. If you're going in blind fighting lay, at least good lay players, this is the fucking move that you have to learn how to punish. Because what's going on here is that's a launcher. He's ending a juggle with it, so it is also a juggle ender. But that's a mid-hitting launcher that scoops your ass up from super fucking far. The input is forward, forward, three, so it's difficult to sidestep. Uh, and it comes out quite fucking fast. And then if you try to block punish it normally, this high kick follow-up will interrupt you. So the idea is you got to guess. Is he going to do the high kick afterwards? If he does, you got to duck and launch it. If he doesn't, you got to block punish it. But not only that. He can land back turn after the first kick. So, there's also that going on, and he has a bunch of unique back turn options to fuck with you. So, that's something to keep in mind about that launch. Oh, here it is. Up forward three. If I'm not mistaken, in tag two, that shit was like negative three on block or something. Or negative two, and it, it's a counter hit launcher. He lands right into crane stance here. Watch. Oh, see? You barely even saw it. He just got his hands up for like one moment. The fucking shithead in his crane stance. Look at it, he's using it to set this up to like interrupt Law's fucking hammer of the whatever it's called. The fucking hammer fist. He's like, go ahead, swing at me. Eat shit, Law. Counter hit on the low. Boom. And that gives him a free follow-up. I think this low always gave him a free follow-up on counter hit. 
So yeah, that's a low out of the crane stance. Uh, I think it's just four. Oh yeah, he still has that weird ass. It's not really an elbow drive. He keeps his hand curved. He just throws his hand on me. And he lands and play dead head towards. When you see he's doing the magician pose, you know, with his fucking knee bent and shit, uh, he's in play dead. So he gets his unique play dead uh, moves out of it. Oh, he's going to block Dragon Tail. Ooh. And that's his, his while standing uh, three. Oh, I forgot the info for this move, but he's always had that move. But now he has a follow up out of that, and it's a core screw. Okay, that's a new string, I'm pretty sure. Oh, armor move. That is the Phoenix 2. Phoenix is when he's up on... He has one knee up and he does like some weird pose like this. I don't know if you can even see my arms right now. He's like something shit like that. <laughs> and then he swings downward with his fist. That used to be a counter hit launcher. Maybe it still is, but now it's also an armor move. Oh, it's a normal hit knockback. And that's still his wall combo. So that backflip right there has always been his wall combo, and it naturally gave him a low wall hit. The timing on it is just like it just he gets it automatically, uh, and it looks like that causes backflip, which means that will probably also hit grounded for him. Oh, this string is a natural combo. <laughs> ah, so that's a core screw now. And then four, four, three. See, there it is. He just did it. He did four, four, three, and then he recovered back turn. And that's his old back turn bound string. Well, I don't remember the input. See? Yeah, it's a double kick. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's going to interrupt uh, Feng here. Now, what this used to do is uh, this was Tiger. I don't remember the input, but he steps forward. He goes, hi -ya! And he, like, pushes you. It used to do what Feng's forward, forward, one plus two does. It would stun people and then stand. Now it does wall bounce. Boom. And that was counter hit. So I don't know if he's going to get that on normal hit. There's the crane string. He went to crane stance with up forward three, and he did the crane string there. So that's still there. That's the drunken uh, boxing one, I think, or forward one. Knockback punch. Nothing different there. So that right there is panther stance. Um, it's either two tilde one or one tilde two, but it's a low high. He, like, swings both arms back to back. He probably still has that as a normal move. It's a knockdown normal, uh, normal hit move, low high. Uh, so if you block the low, also, it's also one input. So he's forced to do low high. So it's launch punishable, essentially. You're blocking the low and ducking the high, and you can obviously low parry it. But it comes out fucking fast. It's like 15, it's like a really fast low high knockdown. It's a really good low. Essentially, it's a really good low that's launch punishable. And he clearly has a rage drive version that starts juggles. A low hitting <laughs> rage drive juggle starter in Panther stance, guys. And I believe Panther Stance has a mid normal hit launcher, in case you're wondering. So he's going to be doing that Ling Zhao Yu back turn shit on you. Get ready for that shit. The juggle looked really weak. Here we have Crane Stance up forward four, which is what he does naturally if you try to hit him with a low and Crane Stance also. It's just a regular hot kick, but in this instance, it's probably just safe on block or plus on block, and it launches super high. They call this a class three launcher. Really, really high launch like this. Actually, this might be another class because you go all the way up in the air and then you go, come down spinning like uh, Kazumi's Rage Drive. Hmm. 443? What do you mean by 443? 443 is that uh, you scoop up kick that has the high kick follow up. It's like Le uh, one of Lay's primary launchers. It's like V. If you're going to learn Lay, you got to learn the spacing of that move. You got to get good at that move. You got to learn the combo variations. You gotta learn the combo variations whether you stand landing facing them or you stand with your back to them. You gotta learn that move in and out. That's one of his most important moves. That's a new move out of the uh, what? Out of the crane? That was crane, right? Yeah, crane stance. So crane stance homing move. Looked like a high, and it caused him to corkscrew. That's an old string. That is uh, snake stance, and uh, I forget the improvise, but that is a normal snake stance move. And now it has. That uh, shoulder style uh, rage drive properties. That was a new move. That looked like a running move. That was definitely a new move. There is a tiger stance one or forward one or down forward one. That's just one, I think. I believe this is a counter hit launcher. Normally. It used to be. But here we got the rage drive version, which causes the bounce. And then he gets a juggle out of that. Oh, that was a new back turn string. So now he has a back turn string uh, mid into another follow, whether it's higher mid, whatever, that goes into a core screw to replace basically the bounce string. 
That is uh, Dragon Stance. Uh, I forget the input, but he's always had that move. Uh, and it was just the old knockback move that he had that I think was safe on block. And now he it, ha it also has a shoulder style effect, a rage drive shoulder style effect going on here where it sends him flying into the wall. And that's his old full crouch down forward 2-1-4, which goes into Phoenix. And now he's doing Phoenix 2, which is now an armor move to spike. Oh, it doesn't spike. It doesn't spike. That's interesting. That movie should be like a downward swing that looked like it should spike, but it just hits him regularly. Weird. All right. And here's his fucking super. I don't know if you guys caught this after what happens here. So, uh, people are, somebody already made a pretty funny edit. Say so he when he breaks Lucky Chloe's throw here. So the thing about this is that when he breaks this Lucky Chloe throw, she does a little one two step. Lay actually does it also. <laughs> and then somebody edited this with uh, Party Rock Anthem on Twitter. Howard actually retweeted it. Do a little chicken dance. All right. So that's Lay. Oop. All right. Now I. Oop. Oh, that's Aris's website. Here we go. This video is paused on with his crane launcher. Can you follow with delayed hot kick? I don't know. With four four three, you can. Four four three, you can definitely follow with delayed hot kick because it launches pretty high. It's one of those. It launches about as high as like Lily's um um Matterhorn. That, that high anime is it an anime huh. uh. twitter what is that nikon i'll take a look at that let's see this better not open up some porn let me hide this you fucking i can't trust you guys <laughs> oh i actually opened up in a different thing uh oh yeah that, okay yeah, there it is okay hold on this is what i was just talking about thank you Uh, a new tab, whatever. Yeah, see this. <laughs> One, two. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> this is actually pretty well done. <laughs> this fucking song sucks. These guys fell off hard, didn't they, right? LMFAO. It pays to be uh, related to the Gordy, Gordy family, I think. All right. So, here we go. This is the uh, lead in into the season two move changes. Yeah, very Gordy. It's going to be much harder to rewind on this one because it's like a three hour video. Obviously, I'm pulling this from the Tekken. Uh, Channel. <laughs> Come on. It's crazy this is coming out so soon. All right, Dragon Tail gets blocked. What is Claudio going to do here? Ah, yes. Okay, so Claudio, like Paul, he has forward forward two move, which is what that is. And he has two follow-ups, mid and high, right? It's not as good as Paul's, but just like Paul, he could do it from full crouch, as in full crouch down forward to, and it comes out. And that's what's going on here. And it looks like his mid follow-up is going to be one of those moves. So not bad. Boom, see? That's the mid follow-up, which is forward forward 2 2 or two, forward forward 2 one plus 2 whatever. In that case, it was full crouch down forward 2. I mean, I still want to punish a dragon tail with that, even if it's, you know, whatever, but that's how they want to show it off, so whatever. And that sets up flying from pretty damn far away. And then he does. That's a new follow-up out of his back four. Before, his back four only had two follow-ups, unless you had Rage Drive. But it was back back four two, which is the counter hit shit, the safe on block counter hit string that gives him Starburst. Or back uh, four three, which was a high kick that knocked down that didn't give him Starburst. That looks like a back four one. So he has a new core screw variation, which might make his juggles interesting. We'll see. And then he does. Is that, a, is that a, oh no no that's an old follow up. That's the high. That's the high follow. I think. 
No, that's new. That's a new follow-up. I don't know what the info for that is going to be, but he definitely didn't get or sit out of that shit before. Uh, did I talk about them about easy combos? I mean, those are like the shit where you play story mode, where you press like one button, you get like a, a triple electric drill or some bullshit. It's not going to be anything to worry about. It's fucking whatever. Auto combos in fighting games have never been anything to worry about. Anybody who's whining about it, they don't play fucking fighting games. It, they never affected any game that they've been in in a negative way. They're easily ignored. It doesn't matter if your opponent is using them. You're gonna. It's not gonna help them. You, you know. Uh, oh, comma and period. Let's see. Is that a frame? No, it doesn't work for me, unfortunately. All right. Hold on. I gotta rewind that. Oh fuck. All right. This is still ten seconds, right? Okay, good. This is still like five seconds, so that's better. Okay. She does Harrier. Harrier 4. Nothing new here. Harrier 4 bounces. That's the new thing. Okay, so Harrier 4 bounces. Then she does uh, forward 2 to her 12 frame Punisher. Which wall breaks. Then she does back 4 to the... Oh! Back 4 has a new follow-up. Interesting. I wonder if that's also going to be natural combo. So, before... Um, Katarina's back four was a counter hit, super long range mid that uh, on counter hit gave her a juggle and it was launch punishable. But then she had a headbutt that was a natural combo that would fuck up her juggle if she got the counter hit. But it was back four, one plus two. She does like a headbutt afterwards. That's a high. Now she has a mid variation to fuck with you even further. So if the rest of that, if the head kick into the headbutt retains the properties, you're going to see some fucking shenanigans here. That move's already good because. It has a ton of range, and it hits grounded. So it was a good Oki move before. Really good Oki move. That was like, that kind of went ignored. <laughs> but there's not so many Katarina players. All right, what's going on here? That is a new move. Hmm, that is a new move, I'm pretty sure. That looks like a wild running two to me. Because he has a forward forward two, right? Maybe he doesn't. That's either a forward forward two or a wild running two. And if that's a wild running two, then Shaheen finally has a wild running pressure move. If that's plus on block. Shaheen doesn't have that right now. He doesn't have any sort of wild running pressure move. Forward four three. Nothing new there. And then... Wait, 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 wait. Was that... What the fuck? Did I just fuck up? Here it is. So that's a new one. Okay, that's uh, that's 4-3. Then he does a standing 2. And he goes into standing 3 naturally out of standing 2. That's new. This is clearly standing 3 into the stance. But he does 2 into it. He doesn't have that now. Yeah, that's new. Oh, that, that could be good. Because standing 3 hits like a fucking truck. If that's a natural combo, that could be a fucked up way for him to go into that stance. While well, paused. Oh, you're right. Oh. Whoop. <laughs> While well, paused. If I, if I hit period, it plays, though. Alright, that's too much. That might not be a regular standing two. That might be a unique input, like a forward two. I don't think he has a forward two right now. Because he does like a open hand thing with his jabs. Okay, so this is Eddie going for... Okay, that's Eddie doing his stupid high, short range high into the low string. I don't really remember enough about Lucky Cloak to know if that little jump she did is new. I think it is. That might be new. Of course, she still has this bullshit. It's not really that bullshit. It's like the damage is bullshit, but the move itself is whatever. Okay, this is old. Oh, that looked like it was new. I don't know if she had that double kick. All right. Okay, she has this string. Okay, so that string th does bounce. That... Did she always have the Bruce crouched ass jumping punch? That's a Bruce move that I don't know if she had that before. That used to be Crouch Dash 1 plus 2. 
I don't think uh, uh, she has that right now, Josie. She never had that before. Okay, so that's a Bruce move. That's 100% a Bruce move that she didn't have and they gave it to her. That's cr I think that was Bruce's crouch dash. One plus two. It was, uh, it was uh, a plus on block jumping elbow that uh, knocked down a normal hit. So she's doing the crouch dash. See? She did it out of the crouch dash cancel. That's for sure. Oh, what the fuck? How did I turn? This is okay. Hold on, I fucked up my. So the Gigas is down one plus two armor move. Something happened. My space bar is only pausing it for like a moment. See? Weird. I don't know what happened. I did something with YouTube to do the space bar. So Gigas is down one plus two armor move. This actually might be useful. Uh, now it causes that sort of uh, knockback, uh, the fucking wall bounce. What it does now is it knocks pe uh, the opponent down right in front of him to give him essentially a 50-50. No guaranteed follow-up, but it gives him a 50-50 between down back two and a slow mid. If they were to get up and down back two hits grounded, of course. Now it knocks back. It's a very slow armor move. The interesting thing about Gigas is not that. This. While standing three, right? That's Gigas' 13 frame while standing Punisher. It just knocked down just like Mardux and a counter hit Druggle Starter. But he gets a follow up that spikes. Ooh, yes. That looks like a while standing 3 2. So Gigas gets a better. <laughs> what is up with that animation? He like fucking stiffs his fucking body while he's falling on him. <laughs> Why is he doing that? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, so. Yeah. Alright, well, whatever. And then that's forward, forward, two. Not special there. While running two. Is that a cancel into her flyback? Or does she just decide to fly back? No, okay, that's not a cancel. She just flew back normally. This isn't new. Unless they're trying to show here that she moves back further. Wait. Wait a second. That looks like she canceled her fly back into fly forward. I'm pretty sure she cannot do that right now. I'm pretty sure what she's doing here is the moment... Because she doesn't recover that fast. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. And she doesn't have any moves that'll fly back naturally. So what it looks like is going on here is she's canceling the fly, the end, the fly back and going right to fly forward. And then she does flying one, which, is, which used to be a uh, juggle starter on normal hit that was unsafe. But now it does that. I don't know if it's still going to be unsafe. That... Running three. Okay, that's an old move for Paul. That's what's new. So Paul's uh, auto sidestep shoulder gives him a free death fist now. Just like his backswing below does. All right. Okay, this is Feng's forward two, one, two. Oh, my God. I forgot about this. Now, I don't know if that's on counter hit, but that's lost sidestep three plus four. Oh, my God. <laughs> they turned that into an instant corkscrew also. Uh, this might be counter hit only. Hopefully it's only counter hit. That, it's, a, it's an unsafe move. I forget how unsafe it is right now. But it's a very annoying move. He would get a free follow-up. And in some instances in the in Tech and Tag 2, in some weird weird angles, he would be able to bound you out of it. As, depending on how big the character is also. Using his forward forward 3, 4, four, four 3, whatever the fuck his fucking forward forward uh, bound string is. But obviously in this game he doesn't have that. Uh, so I don't know what he does in this game normally, but now we'll see. That move is fucking annoying. And then nothing new there. Yeah, nothing new there. Okay. That's Feng's down forward two. Two is gonna be his wall bounce. Nice. I'll take it. That's a good move. That's his. Did that always corkscrew? Did his homing move always corkscrew as down forward three plus four? 
I don't remember that. And then he goes forward two, one, two. Okay. As Brian's uh, core circle forward one plus two, I think, right? And he goes to the down forward four, and then his usual wall combo. So while standing three goes into this stance for Yoshimitsu. Now, I don't know enough about Yoshimitsu to really comment on this, or if it's any good or anything. But it just looks like, it just looks like his wall standing four goes right into that stance, which gives him that slide. So that could be good. Miguel's down forward 1-1-2, one, one, gets sidestep. King sidestep 2, causes instant course crew. All right, cool. And then there's Shining Wizard. It's the Shining Wizard. I don't know if there's anything different about that. This move is, was always kind of good. And I don't know if this is a buff or a nerf yet. It depends on how, you know, it always wall splatted. Uh, so I don't know if there's going to be anything special for Jack. But it causes the bounce. While standing four, fully charged pack two. That could do, that should do a lot of damage because I did like a low wall hit, and that move does a lot of damage. So that's his backswing blow. Oh yes, Dragonov's eye gouge. The fucking shh, up forward one. This move was never bad, but no Dragonov player is used. Very rarely, very rarely was it used. It's just why does Dragonov have it? Did I miss any quests by the way? Brian's not forward four. Looks way faster. Really? Does it? I went too far back, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, too far forward. Damn, a three-hour stream. It's hard to fucking get pinpoint accuracy on. Yeah, that's definitely counter hit. Let's see if we can get the timing on that. He looks like he's got like fire in his legs because of the head spark. <laughs> yeah, that's counter hit. That's definitely counter hit. He was going for the last hit for sure. See? Clearly going for the last hit here of forward two one two. So we'll see. That looks faster too. Maybe they sped up both Feng's and Brian's homing mid. Hmm, are you sure, Milo? I don't know about that. Landonio, we don't know. It's just counter hit in the trailer. It doesn't mean it's going to be counter hit only. We don't know yet. It, l it looks the same to me, Milo. I don't know about that. I guess we'll find out. Okay. The uh, king's sidestep to... Oh, yeah. So, Dragon Offs is where I was like, oh... Yeah, oof. This shit. So this was a move that was always good. I think it's like a 15 frame counter hit juggle starter. That was uh, pretty safe on block, but it's a high. And the thing is, Dragon Off just kind of doesn't need that. So Dragon Off players would always ignore it. But what if it's still a juggle starter on counter hit and on normal hit and he could do this? And it's still safe on block. That move's usefulness goes up quite a bit, doesn't it? I'm guessing without, you know, without the... Rage drive, you might want to do an instant while standing one plus two shoulder. All right, Leo's uh, Leo's body check. Akira style. Does that. And then another one of those mid homing kicks. Is that a new string? And was Leo charged already? Doesn't Leo need a charge to do the sparkly shit like that? Any Leo players know that's a new string? I really wanted Fard's back one to one counter hit launcher. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm glad that shit is gone. That shit was annoying as fuck. You know Law had that shit himself. Fard's Law had it, but Law had it back in 5.0 and DR. Uh, forward back one plus two. The blue shit is a just frame. Okay, cool. So Leo just has that naturally. Got it. Thank you. Uh, I think she always had that move. And now it does this. Okay, into that. Okay, not special there. So 
So this move does this now. That's a natural combo. I forget how good that move is. I, will, I was using her like a couple months ago. Ugh. Running three. Oh, this dumb screen does that. Okay, nothing new there. Uh... I have heard. I think that Lars transition is new. Into the back step. I think that's new. I think someone said in the chat. In uh, that, what he did there. See? This while standing two. I think that's new? I'm not sure. I don't remember Lars's shit already. Alright. This is usual bullshit. Okay. Not special there. Oh, yes. They show you. They show you. They're like, yeah, that's a 14 frame launcher for Steve. That's right. <laughs> that is a 14 frame mid heading launcher for Steve. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 443 screw not for Oscars. No. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that always screwed. All right. So 443 for Oscar screws now. Uh, the wall stage two isn't new, but he can go into SE directly from D. That's what's new. Okay, cool. So he could go, he could go into silent entry directly from. Dynamic entry, just like uh, Kazumi goes from fly back to fly forward now. All right, so Steven Rage now has a 14 frame mid launcher. Oh, you can do the. <laughs> Wait, that's new. That doesn't knock down currently. That is definitely new. That forces crouch, but it doesn't knock down right now. You hear the crowd oh, on that one. <laughs> oh. This is definitely new. See? It spiked her. And he got a free forward, forward, four. That's a Kazuya buff, dude. He doesn't need that shit. Fuck Kazuya. Gross. You heard? That's why the crowd popped. That's why they popped for that. They're like, oh, Kazuya got a buff. <laughs> he was already fucking good. <laughs> he got a fucking buff. Fucking Kazuya, dude. Are you kidding me? They were mad quiet for everything else, but the moment he said, R -r -r, they were like, oh, in the background. <laughs> yeah, they were like, oh, the moment he landed 444. Bullshit. All right, Jin's down one. Isn't Jin's down one armor just like Devil Jin's? Or is Devil Jin's the only one that's armor right now? Well, whatever. It causes this to happen. Standing fourth. Oh, that's new. 3-1 goes into CDS. Crouching Demon stance now. It did not do that before. And he did CDS too. Or Zen or whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's his back one too, right? Or is that forward one plus two? The homie move. Whatever it is, it does that. That's sidestep 2-1. That's a normal hit juggle starter now, right? Oh! So his, uh... Huh. So his fucking rage drive comes out of his jab? So his his counter hit jab check, the forward one back two, which has always been kind of like a counter hit, jab, a counter hit check out of his jab, just like Feng's 1-1, one, one, essentially. It's a similar in, in application. Now he has the option to tie his rage drive into it. Now I doubt it's going to be a natural combo string. Ugh, might as well just do the fucking five second. Right? See? One, back two. And then he goes into the rage drive. Now, my question here is... I'm guessing the rage drive, uh, if the back two, if the back two portion of the one back two hits, it's probably going to be a natural combo if he were to use this in a neutral situation. My question is, will he be able to confirm that on normal hit? Assuming that it is. I'm just guessing that it, that it is. Because that could be good. That could be really good for him. Oh, I like how they do the fucking OTGF. <laughs> All right, blonde bomb. Oh no, that's not the regular blonde bomb. That's the four four one plus two blonde bomb specifically. That's not the armored one. Causes bounce. She always had that string. This is new for Bob. Cracker Jacker into roll. So get ready for Bob shenanigans. 
You gotta get used to this. Yep. <laughs> so this is a way to punish people who try to block punish the first hit of Cracker Jacker, which is negative 12. Uh, armor turn, uh, armor turn, uh, armor move from back turn, and it works like Yoshimitsu's flash. That's probably why she's doing it, to Yoshimitsu. Ugh. Yeah, straight up, she's just kind of doing like a Yoshimitsu flash. Huh, interesting. I wonder if that has a uh, a block animation if you don't like get super close to her. No, no juggle though. It looks like so, just a free follow up. So the Hitman stance kick. So that Hitman stance kick. Um, it's not a great move, but I forget the info for it. But he could land crouching or standing, and I think it's negative twelve. So it's one of those that, depending on how he lands, you can't really block punish it. So it's not a terrible move. That's his old wall combo. I don't know if it does a backflip like that now, though. <laughs> that might be new also. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so now, you know, I remember Minuteman was making a big deal about this in the chat. Miguel has a proper uh, regular uh, confirm without rage drive. Confirm off of Magic 4 now. That's a new string. I don't know what the input for that would be. That's not a forward four variation, is it? That is. You see the little spark? Can you see my arrow? You see right here where I'm circling? You see the sparklies right there? This is a new follow-up to his forward four homing move. That's what it looks like. Does that mean forward four? Forward four two? Does that mean they sped it up? Does that mean they sped up forward 4 2? Huh. They either sped up forward 4 2 or they made counter hit magic 4 launch higher. Did I miss any questions? Uh, revamp radius drives. That's her back turn 1 plus 2. I don't know Red Furies. I went through her move list a year ago, so I don't really remember. Arcanus. Arcanios. Yeah, only characters that had a weak rage drive got new ones. Yep. In this case, Lily, Miguel, Steve, and Hayashi. Was Lily's really that bad? Huh. I don't I didn't think Lily's was that bad. I guess it's like it was pointless because that move is already cheap enough as it is. All right. It's possible. They made Bob ball and Feng down forward people's four faster in the trailer. You sure about that? Huh. Her back turn one plus two isn't a power crush currently. Got it. So that's just her back turn one plus two. That's a power crush. Got it. Uh, is September 6th here yet? No. So just a heads up, I will be doing what I always do. But uh, September 6th specifically lands on a Thursday, and my current job exhausts the shit out of me, and I have to sleep really early. So I'll try, if you guys want to see you know, my usual character moveless review stuff, I'll try to do a little bit of it on uh, on Thursday. But Friday and the weekend after that Friday, I'm going to be going all in. I'm going to try really hard to go as much, you know, as all in as I can. To like go through these characters and uh, maybe look through some older ones. <laughs> nah, I don't want. I just started a new job. I'm a weekend, and I already I already have tomorrow off to go to a doctor's appointment. So I don't want to be requesting more time off. Plus, it's, I need really need money. I can't be requesting so many days off. The sick leave is a thing that you get later. You got to build up to that. Anyway. You're a manager. You lucky motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Wait, but he just does the forward four too. That wasn't a full juggle. Hold on a second. Oh, it is. Okay, I'm sorry. Then he just okay. It's just a uh, forward forward two two. He does afterwards. It just has the same animation. That upward punch. Same follow up animation. Okay, that's the what's it called? Debugger two one, I think. This kick that lands and relax does that now. Uh, no, that's not new. Wait, is that new? Did that always core screw? Handstand in the mids? I don't know if that always core screwed. I don't remember. I heard somebody cheer there, so that might be new. Here's... What's going on here is before she would have to super cancel. 
But now, her jab punish, jab into DP, she could confirm it and then opt to go into her super and then confirm. Like, it's a, it's a, conf it's a confirm. You don't have to burn the super. So that actually makes her very dangerous. That makes it so, oh, she just goes for a standard jab punish, and then she goes, now I'm going to do the super. That also adds the damage because then she can do the full DP. So if she just happens to like just do a raw jab into DP out of nowhere, just fuck you, bam, bam, she could uh, opt to confirm it to her super afterwards. Well, that's not that big a deal. That's super risky still. All right, what's Akuma got? This is new for Akuma. Now he has a while standing three demon flip cancel, right? That's new. His running move does that. I wonder if that's only the max mode version, the EX version of that. This is not that big a deal. And with the way Geese juggles, Geese wall combos work, that actually might give him more damage. I don't know. He might be able to do some weird ass jump back shit. We don't know yet. As a matter of fact, he's in max mode here. He might be able to do like a jump back air normal into EX <laughs> Repuk air repuken, land instantly and go into a, some other crazy shit. Wait, did he always get stand up after that? I don't think he always got stand up after that. That might be new. I thought he needed a raising storm after that to get stand up. See, I think he used to need raising storm to get this here. This might be new. Okay, his stupid roll armor move does that. That's whatever. Who gives a fuck? It's not this. Hell yeah! That's the best thing about Noctis, that he says hell yeah. Uh, certain wall combos you could do it without. But the thing is, I thought every time Geese did the uh, forward three, he needed a uh, Raising Storm to get stand up. That was not... Oh shit, you're right! <laughs> they buffed down back too. I didn't even think of that because it's Noctis. Who gives a shit about Noctis? Yeah, he's not supercharged. He's just he's enraged, but he's not supercharged. It looks like it knocks back further. <laughs> Damn, get your leg checked. Interesting. It knocks back further, it looks like. I wonder if he still gets the pickup, the down back one two pickup or down back one one plus two, whatever the fuck that shit is. As a matter of fact, it looks like it knocks back so far, he might not get a guaranteed follow-up anymore. It just knocks down on normal hit. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So he no longer gets a... Uh, I wonder if it has new counter hit properties. <laughs> yeah. Look at the camera. Weird. And he gets to watch his long-ass super. Oh, a lot of interesting things to uh, think about here, everybody. On counter hit, it might still knock down closer. Yeah. What's up, He's Isaac Lock? You actually just missed everything, Isaac Lock. I just went through everything. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Huh. I should definitely cut this out, upload it to YouTube. I don't know if anybody else learned anything, but I learned a lot. And uh, there's a lot to think about here, a lot to pack in for when this thing comes out. A lot to test. Because they say they're calling it a balance patch. So these are just like examples of some new things. But that means that they're going to rebalance this moves in general that we're not going to see in a trailer like this. What do you think of the Hey Hachi changes? Well, Tom Sinister, um, Hey Hachi got a rage drive off of his one back two. So my question in regards to one back two, one back two for Hey Hachi has always been a counter hit check off of his jab. For those of you who don't know how you use a move like that. 99% uh, of the uh, characters a standing one jab is plus one on block so it's a great pressure tool on top of that Heihachi has 1-1 one, one, flash punch combo 1-1-2 one, one, and 1-1 one, one by itself is only negative one on block so essentially while he's fishing for hit confirmable 1-1-2 one, one, he's got 1-1 one, one, so it's a side step pressure and then down forward 1 down forward 1-2 down forward 1-1 one, one. down forward 1 is just like Kazumi but then he also gets 1 back 2 as a counter hit check 
And I don't know if it does in Tekken 7, but in older games, the back two specifically gave him a counter hit juggle starter, just like Feng's 1-1 one, one does. The one into the mid punch. So, oh, shit. Oh, 619. Been a while. Till I'm victorious. Thank you very much, 619. It's been a while, and I hope you're doing all right. And uh, I just remembered that my pizza notification is there. I got some fucking pizza waiting for me after I uh, lift some iron for me after I'm done here. Thank you very much, 619, the old legend. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, so I was saying about Heihachi, right? So the thing you got to think about here is in most instances with Rage Drives, as of right now, I don't know about the, the patch, when you see Rage Drive extensions to moves, they tend to be n a natural combo, right? The only instance I can think of currently is uh, Quarangs, which is just a three-hit thing that gives them a, a, a heavy amount of block pressure, you know? So when you think about Heihachi, is it going to be where, since there's a big gap between the one and the back two, is it going to be where the back two extension into the rage drive is going to be a natural combo that gives them, like, whether it's like a spike for a stomp or an actual juggle? If that's the case, where it's a natural combo off of the back two into whatever the fuck the headbutt is, one plus two maybe, then the follow-up question is, is that confirmable, right? So if I do a one into a back two and I look for people doing shit, Will I be able to confirm into that rage drive off of something? Whether it's not off of a raw hit, will I be able to react to it? Because the one it's a back to has a pretty big gap in it. Not a gap that you could hit him out of. Maybe you could armor him out of. I don't know. You could probably DP out of him. But it has a pretty significant visual gap there. So you might be able to confirm that. You get what I'm saying? So that's cool. I'm thinking since he can uh, rage drive off of one back to... It might also be a counter hit. Well, if if one back two is a counter hit launcher, that's fucking nasty too. <laughs> a 10 frame counter hit juggle started. Granted, it's only one time per round during Rage. But, you know, that could be really good too. That's true. That was Goldberg and Ming. Haku. If you guys want, some, uh, want to read something interesting, look up Haku. Uh, stories about Haku. He is one of the most, probably the most legitimate, like, badasses in pro wrestling he's like there's a lot of really crazy stories about him like those dumbass chuck norris memes those are there's like real life ridiculous stories about that guy it's crazy but anyway um yeah uh that hey hachi shit seems interesting for sure uh so tournament's getting updates mag down in the middle of its schedule <laughs> uh so Kyle regionals is going to be the first tournament after this patch four days four days after this patch comes out so Kyle regionals yeah, I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Uh, the most interesting things, I think Gigas' buff is pretty big. Uh, I don't think the armor move thing is that big a deal. As a matter of fact, it might fuck up mid-stage, right? I mean, granted, I think Gigas kind of wants to bully you into the wall. I think Gigas is actually pretty good at the wall. Uh, so that's, like, a, a nice improvement. But then he loses the mid-stage Oki off of that armor move. So it's kind of whatever. But getting a, a proper while standing 13 frame Punisher is a nice it's a nice bonus for Gigas. Not Marty didn't have that. Marty had a while standing one for 11 frames, while standing one plus two for 10 frames, inconsistent 10 frames, usually 11, and while standing three for 13 frames, and then like while standing sorry while standing four for 13 frames was essentially the same thing as Gigas as while standing four, and then he had while standing three for his 17 or 18 frame launcher, uh, which is just like Gigas essentially also, so. Now there's an in-between that Gigas has so for, for his wall standing punish. Because before, it was just like, why even block low? Just low parry with Gigas. Don't block low. His wall standing punch was too bad. It's too shitty. Well, actually, Gigas always had a 15-frame wall standing in between between his launcher and his wall standing one. Marty didn't have that either. He just had a knockback. So Gigas got that now. And it, it also floor breaks. I'm pretty sure the first time they showed the trailer for Season 2... While standing four, knocks the character into the air, spinning, just like Marduk's while standing four. And then that fucking follow-up elbow, which I'm guessing is going to be two, spikes. So that means that in the groundbreak stage, his 13 frame while standing Punisher becomes a juggle starter. That's a nice little interesting bonus for him, I guess. So yeah, Gigas, that's a pretty big buff for him. I mean, he's still going to suck, but whatever. <laughs> Unless they give him more shit. Uh, the Heihachi thing is really interesting. The Dragonoff thing is pretty interesting. I wonder how they're going to nerf him, because let's be real, they're going to nerf something about him. 
I think if they're going to nerf anything about them, they're going to make while running too easier to step. That's my guess. Uh, I'm curious if they're going to make uh, down to become negative 14 on block. That could be big. If, it, especially if they make it negative 15 on block. If they make his down to worse on block, that's a huge nerf for Dragon Off. Super huge. You start making it so most characters could launch him on block. Did they do anything to Jack or Paul? Jack got his um, debugger 2, that long range mid punch. That's his wall bounce. They didn't show anything special out of it except for the fact that his follow up to that was like a wall standing or a standing 4. And he did a fully charged back 2 as a low wall hit. As a low wall hit, fully charged back to, but he did it to Gigas. But that, that has potential to do a ton of damage. Um, assuming it's still safe. Paul got his, uh, I forget the input, but Paul has like an auto sidestep shoulder. He sidesteps left and does like a shoulder. Now that does the same thing as his back forward one does, the back swing elbow. It gives him a free Phoenix Smasher. Death Fist afterwards. That's what they gave Paul. Uh, based on this video, we'll see, you know. There's more to come. We don't know. They're gonna, you know, they, there might be a lot more here. Uh, there's a lot to pack in. Uh, that Noctis thing, I don't know how big that's going to be for him. But who gives a fuck about Noctis? Kazumi could go right into fly forward and had to fly back. She could do the fly back. And the moment she ends the fly back, she could go to fly forward. So if she makes things whiff, like the way King does with back Jaguar step, she might be able to punish certain things. They showed her punishing Heihachi forward forward two whiff with it. So, I mean, you know, the usefulness of that is kind of whatever. If she were able to do her flying attacks out of the back fly, that's a different story. Then she gets some back head pull step bullshit, but they, I don't think they want to give that to her. That could be very obnoxious. Because essentially, what, what you end up doing there is you end up giving her like Marduk's cornered beasts. And they don't, the, as it was in BR and 5.0, and I don't think they ever want to do that. It's bad enough that Feng kind of has that. A much safer version of that. It doesn't go back as far, though, as Cornered Beast used to. Uh, Feng got down forward 2-2 two, two to be his wall bounce. That's not a big, particularly big deal. I think somebody said uh, his mid-homing move might be a little faster. Uh, Asuka's mid-homing... I forget that's a homing kick, but Asuka's mid-kick, that fucking... I think it is a homing kick. That's a corkscrew now, so that could be really good for her because that kick is really obnoxious. It's a really good move. Um... Yeah, any other big things that were had that happened here? I don't like that they changed down forward one two two to wall bounce. That was my main. Well, you might get a better juggle out of it. We don't know how the they're showing basic juggle examples here, and most of the examples that they're showing is like, you know, you're gonna be able to find better shit, Bison. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Let's let's uh, let's put it this way. What if theory crafting? Right. We're gonna theory craft for a moment here. Right. Where's the thing at? I forget where he is in this. Feng, where you at? Five second increments. Oh yeah, Steve. Steve's is a big one. Rage Drive is a 14 frame mid hitting juggle starter. Oh, yeah, Kazuya's down forward 1-2 buffed. Are you kidding me? Down forward 1-2 gives him a free forward forward 4 now. That's fucked up. Why is Kazuya getting buffs? Fucking hell. <laughs> That's so fucked up. They better make that shit worse on block. Make it negative 14 so he can eat shit when he, when he gets blocked. But they won't. They love giving Kazuya really strong, safe moves. They love it. Fucking love doing that shit. It's really annoying. <laughs> uh, here's the here's the uh, Jack one. Well, see, yeah, that's while standing for, and he gets a fully charged back two. That's gonna hit low. See, that was a low wall hit for sure, and that thing does a lot of damage. So that could be. All right, here we go. Look at how far away he does it from. All right, first of all. Right? Now, he goes right into the fucking core screw here. Don't you think you might be able to do something more interesting here? For example, forward, forward, 4-3. Four, 4-4-4-3 four, 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 to re-splat, that's a lot of damage. Assuming they don't mess with the, you know, damage properties too much. 
That's a that's a lot of damage, those two kicks. Four, four, four delayed three specifically. And then you could re-splat with that, right? Because that's still going to bounce up close. And if it bounces up close, you might get even better shit. Think about the kind of shit Feng does at the wall, right? What if he does, like, shoulder, right? If he's up close, he does down four, two, two, shoulder to splat. And then he could do one, three into jump over or one, three shoulder or two, one shoulder or two, one jump over to, uh, to, to catch people teching. You know, I mean, you got to learn to like the shoulder, man. What do you do? You don't you don't know the, you know, the Feng armor move shit. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, when Feng has rage, if he does a fully, when your back is to the wall, his opponent's back is to the wall, he does a fully charge forward, forward, one plus two. If it uh, connects, Bison, I'm saying shoulder as the wall combo for resplat after the down forward two, two. Bison. Yes. These wall splats, when you're up close against the wall, first of all, I think it was Michael Murray. He said they're still hard wall splats, right? And this is where I'm confused. Is every wall splat going to be like this now? Or is it only these specific moves, right? Because he made mention that you can still get a hard wall splat when the cat, when the opponent is pressed up against the wall. He made mention of that. Do you think they'll increase health slightly? Uh, no, but I think they'll tweak damage of moves. I think Death Fist is going to do less damage, if I were to guess. That's one of the things up front I could, I, I'm going to guess is going to do slightly less damage. Um, so, if he's up close and he still gets the bounce with down forward 2-2, two, two, you could probably re-splat with shoulder. So, what I was saying is uh, Feng's armor before 4-1 four, four, plus 2. For you, for you Feng players that may not know this, I'm sure you all do, but whatever. The stupid little Hadouken shit, right? That stuns. Uh, if you get a full charge 4 4 1 plus 2 when their back is against the wall and you have rage, you do forward 3 4 to wall splat them high. You do a regular shoulder and then you do a rage drive shoulder, which re splats them, and then you could do 1 3 low wall hit shoulder. And that's a wall combo that does all together about 120 damage to your opponent. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, you know, yeah, there was definitely a mention during the stream. I mean, let's see if he's... Uh, I, don't, I would have to go through this whole, like, yapping that they do here to try to catch the... Uh, no, this is strictly the Japanese stuff. You don't hear Michael Murray, do you? Maybe, I don't... You might not hear Michael Murray in this. That might be only in the Twitch stream. If you guys want to search for it, there's somewhere in the screen where Michael Murray says something about you still get a heavy wall splat when they're like closer to the wall. He, I caught that. Like, hmm. I definitely caught that. But, uh, yeah. Wait, let me see. <laughs> Why they got Mark Man looking like that? <laughs> that was his reaction to Noctis, I think. It seems like this is strictly the Japanese. All right. Uh, I'm trying to rewind to the matches. Yeah, this is the strictly the, the Japanese stream. So it's not going to be here. So yeah, I mean, if you guys want to search for that shit, uh, I never saw any reason why Feng's power crush would connect. Fully charges like hella long. Well, you know, sometimes people do dumb shit and get caught off guard. <laughs> That's why it does that much damage and it's not a big deal. But you're not wrong though. All right, well, uh, hopefully that uh, every day I'm shuffling shit doesn't mute the stream, and uh, I'll cut this out and throw it up on the YouTube. But for now, I'm done. Hope you guys learned some stuff along with me. Very, very hyped. Very, very turned up. I want to try to finish Valkyra Chronicle, Chronicles before this uh, big old season uh, two patch hits. And we'll see what's up. Take it easy, everybody. Hope you all have a good evening. If I pop up later, it'll be Valkyra Chronicles. So I'm sure nobody wants to watch that. Ooh, look at that face. Ooh.